you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Guys, with cheap FIFA 19 coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWNFIFA at checkout for 5% off. They sell Xbox One coins and PS4 at the moment, everything you can do, comfort trade. They're quite cheap as well right now, guys, and they'll be cheapest in the future throughout the whole of FIFA. Comfort trade, obviously fast, quick and easy and reliable. Um, so player auction, anything like that, guys, you can use. They have plenty of coins available in stock and always will have, so make sure you check them out. They also have other stuff, guys, like um, Diablo 2, um, Pokemon Go, League of Legends, other stuff like this, and you can even sell your coins to them so say you finish playing fifa now and you want to sell your coins then they'll give you a great rate for your coins guys so make sure you check out the link in the description and use mill factory for five percent off using own fifa hey guys what's going on today welcome back to a brand new video guys today is going to be a bit of a different video guys just for the end of the new year like and then into the new year we're going to have a lot of trading and stuff going on i'm going to make a few videos today and whatever but it's going to be a final video guys of the year just showing you my custom tactics and instructions for fifa 19 if you're playing foot champs now it's getting to the point in the year where traders are starting to build their teams and stuff ready for foot champs so i'm going to show you what i do with my players so pretty much going to show you first of all the custom tactics so this is what i do i have it on um, balance because <clears throat> i don't like having these other ones like pressure because with the pressure the players run out and it just turns into a shit show same with constant pressure sometimes I put this on say if someone's keeping the ball like an idiot just like sitting there and drop back I never use just due to the fact that it's just like part of the bus basically and it's just rubbish because I don't like playing I can't defend very well so I always keep it on balance the width, it depends on formation you have. For this 4-3-3 formation, a lot of people use narrow formations this year, which is why the whip isn't up here like that. It's um, just here because if you look on this one, they're all right out on the touchdown and stuff. Whereas this one, they are a little bit more inside, but they'll still have the two wingers about to run on. With depth here, same thing. I don't want it like this, parking the bus again. And if you have it up here, you're going to get through balls over the top and it's going to be terrible. So I always just keep it on. I basically, just before, like, keep my two strikers or whatever, the strikers out of the way and just have them midfielders and whatever. Same with offensive style, just balance them I mean, it's long ball rubbish. It's always better to have balance and stuff like this. Then the width, once again, I just keep it on the same thing. Um, same with the, um, the depth. I don't want to confuse, like, the teams that are going to be like this or whatever. All in there, players in the box. So I just keep it on a nice balance with the same with the depth so it doesn't counteract it with corners I'm freaking because I'm left these standard because it doesn't really mean anything really the corners all you do is put a near post and then on we go in so it's ridiculous and same with free kicks it's just the same kind of thing just score them really or it's not going to happen so yeah we use 4 3 3 4 on all of the different options so yeah I will show you the other ones as well I haven't really done much to them but so on my um, striker I do have stay forward on all of them so yeah and then on bail the two wingers I have um, aggressive interception same with uh, the strikers aggressive interceptions all the way I do have a um, Hoshenko on stay central and mixed attack you can see all the rest are on default stuff then we have Griezmann he's on stay forward too depends what kind of cam you have you have a cam like Pogba it's better to have him on defensive duties as well but we have Griezmann he's going to just get in the way defensively I don't really like having one like that there so I have stay forward and that's it with him with Cruz I have everything on default just leave him how he is and then with Kante I have stay back while attacking and everything on default once again Jordi Alba stay back and just mix attack, normal stuff, same with Lala, always stay back and these two as well. And now guys, yeah, so if you want to pause at any point and look at that, feel free, but this is my team, I've had a lot of games with them now, you see 116 games with Courtois this year already, and then Lala, I got him untradeable in a um, the league, no, team of the week untradeable packs, actually I was buzzing about that because I already had his 84. Then we have Varane, 114 games played with him now. Uh, Ramos, 106. He's untradeable as well. I luckily packed him in one of my division rival awards, which was absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah. And then I just bought Jordi Alba. I used to have Marcelo, but I don't know what it is about him. I speaking to a few people about it as well, and Marcelo maybe isn't as good. Or he might be just as good, but he's like 70k more, so I thought, why not get Jordi Alba? Then we have Kante, 335k paid for him. And Cruz is probably my favourite card in this game. Look at his gold score from Santa Mary compared to Kante. I know Kante doesn't say that while attacking, but still, I mean, the assists uh, speak for it as well. And then we have Griezmann, I mean, 30, 27 goal contributions in 25 games. I used to have Lacazette there, but I changed it up. Then Mbappe, he doesn't look that good, like his record isn't amazing, but yeah, 625k paid for him. And then we go on to Bale, I'll show you Shevchenko after, just to prove how good Shevchenko is. I mean, there's Bale, but look at the record on Shevchenko, like... He's, everyone slates him like people that I see or speak to me about my team say oh, I should take Shevchenko out but I mean look at his stats I can't take that out of the team but yeah guys so it's only a short video today something just for the new year basically I know loads have been a bit rubbish lately but it's just like Christmas and stuff isn't it I'm not going to be out I'm 
Right guys, so at this point my audio messed up, but the video was done anyway. I just wanted to basically say thank you for a great year, guys. We've hit a million views on the YouTube channel as well, so thanks so much for that, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, leave a sub, and I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new video.